Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video in the daily Winds of Winter Watch. I'm your host, what do I call myself again? Glidus? That's a terrible name. Anyway, it's Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024, and A Dance with Dragons came out 4,647 days ago. And we've got a lot to talk about today, but before we get into it, I've just got to remind you to obliterate that like button and send the subscribe button to the Shadow Realm. Only four of you are actually subscribed, and it really helps the channel out. I know the video literally just started, and I've done nothing to earn these things from you, but now that I've told you to, maybe you'll do it. There's also a pointless bell next to the subscribe button. It does nothing, but if you like clicking bells, then go ahead and do that as well. Remember, ring the bells. Also, I have a Patreon. Also, I have merch. Also, listen to my terrible music. Also, with all of that out of the way, time for our obnoxiously lengthy intro sequence. Okay guys, and welcome back to another brand new Winds of Winter Watch News Update Daily Edition of the week. I know some of you guys aren't already subscribed to the second channel where we do the weekly update of the month, so go ahead and do that, and condemn the bell to a lifetime of pain and misery. And then do the same with the third channel, where I host the hourly update every year. We have a really special episode of the Daily Winds of Winter update show news coming up. But first, I want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, The Smell of Cat Piss. Not for any particular reason, I just really wanted to thank them. My house was smelling nothing like cat piss, even though I do have a cat. So when the smell of cat piss reached out to me, I didn't have to think twice about accepting the giant sack of cash they were offering. Though it wasn't at all pleasant to be around. They also sent me a sample of their product, which as you may have guessed, is just several vials of cat piss concentrate. They do have a selection of more exotic flavors, like the litter desperately needs changing and two cats competing for nasal real estate, but I opted to just go with the classic cat piss. Why fix what isn't broken? After a quick rundown of my house, now every room has that unforgettable aroma, so strong you can basically taste it at all times. So even though my cat now seems scared all the time for some reason, I fully endorse the smell of cat pisses, classic cat piss, cat piss concentrate. This bank holiday season, they're introducing four new champions. Use the link below to get 15% off your first order and a limited time special gift. Use code WINDSOFWINTERCATPISS at checkout for free shipping anywhere in the greater Toowoomba area. Find me in-game and join my clan. And best of all, the smell of cat piss is planting trees for some reason. Thanks for not skipping the very real ad read I just did, which was probably for some bullshit mobile game or fake therapy that sells your data. And now we'll get into the actual video, which is of roughly the same quality and relevance to your life. Today's The Winds of Winter Watch News Daily Update World Edition show broadcast. As always, we'll begin by talking about the Dance of Dragons Kid. A human born on the day A Dance with Dragons came out would today be a 12-year-old statistically named Jackson or Olivia or something along those lines, whose parents currently have a distant concern about their looming 13th birthday party. Which of their kids' annoying friends do they have to invite and what allergens do they need to avoid? Which parents do they have to put up with and for how long? Is there enough space in the rumpus room for that many sleeping bags? Are the Nintendo controllers charged? Is the fire extinguisher up to code in case a Monopoly riot breaks out? Etc. But more pressingly right now, they're thinking about the long-term consequences of all that Easter chocolate. The kid is in 6th or possibly 7th grade, and depending on the school they attend, they might be away on camp next week. And as always, this kid is not able to purchase a copy of The Winds of Winter because it isn't out yet. Tune in next week for another daily update on the hypothetical Dance of Dragon Kid. Moving on to our next segment, the Winds of Winter release date finally announced clickbait Game of Thrones Secret Season 9 Dunk and Egg trailer revealed, ending explained. 
our expert analysis based on George R. 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 Ma R. R. Artin blog posts and interviews where he shows utter contempt for people doing exactly what I'm doing and show no signs of stopping, estimates that The Winds of Winter is 99% done and will be coming out either tomorrow or never. I'm just about at my fucking limit. As you all know, especially first time viewers, you all know that my original, controversial, groundbreaking stance on Wind of Winters is that George too old and doesn't care anymore, and that when he dies, Brandon Sanderson should finish the series. I say this because I don't understand a single thing about writing and actively ignore that both the involved parties said they wouldn't do this. To learn more, we asked some random guy what he thought. I'm not doing your stupid April Fool's video again. Enough with the joke reviews. Where's the bloody piss takes? You haven't made a got review in three years. Unsatisfied with this, we reached out to Mr. Beast to comment on this news for some reason, but received no response. Probably because he's busy sending lobsters into space or starting an international incident for a video, because in spite of his unimaginable levels of success and wealth, he has enslaved himself to an unthinking and unliving artificial master and is now unable to live life as a human as he is condemned to be but a content machine. I'm so jealous. We'll still put his name in the title, thumbnail and description though. And brand our employee stomachs with it. Have we hit mid-roll? Is that, is that eight minutes yet? Can I stop now? There's literally nothing to talk about. We're, we're just tracking the updates from one 75-year-old man. He's, there's not going to be news every day. I mean, obviously. What a stupid idea for a show this was. Yeah, we'll just stretch the audio slightly and leave the last 20 seconds blank. No one will care. If they watch this crap, they'll sit through anything. I mean, thanks for watching the Winds of Winter Daily Update Fusion Extreme episode 4647. Tune in next time for the exciting <laughs> conclusion. <laughs> On a serious note, please don't eat books. I know I've made the idea cool and all, but it can be terribly dangerous. The paper found in books is made from indigestible cellulose treated with chemicals such as bleach to improve its presentation. Not to mention the glue in the binding materials. Or staples. Jesus. At certain levels, ink can be toxic to humans too. The indigestibility of paper combined with its permeable and porous nature means that it will literally clog up your digestive tract. Don't do it. Eating paper is a seriously bad idea. When I do it, I intend on taking every single precaution for my own safety. I'm going to eat a stomach pump too, just to, just to be careful. Do not emulate me. It's, it's a bad fucking idea. Obviously. Come on. Anyway, happy Autism Awareness Day.